you mentioned and you wrote this, I quote, truth and trust are dying in postmodern America and freedom too will inevitably die. Then if that's the case, I mean, are, are you saying that we don't just let it die? We're to fight for it because we need it. But how do we still then live in a truthless society or do we continue to go back to preach the revelation of God? Because without that, we have nothing. Absolutely. As you preach the word, and a key part of the word is truth right. and trust and trustworthiness. Put it very simply in terms of freedom. Where there is high trust, there is high freedom. Where there is low trust, there is low freedom and high surveillance. <clears throat> China's the extreme with its two billion cameras and its social credit system. And you can see that's coming America's way. You need trust, which means truth, trustworthiness, faithfulness. You know, I, I, I say to my friends who are at the heart of promise keepers, promise keeping, their central idea, I don't think they realize, it is the key to the American crisis and to its solution. You take covenantalism. At the heart of the covenant is freely chosen consent. The Lord offers the terms, and it says three times in Exodus, all that the Lord says, we will do. It's like the I do in a wedding. So that creation of a, a promise. Now, the trouble is, as you know, Travis, the Lord keeps his promises. We don't. Mm. Humans are rotten promise keepers. They keep breaking down, which is why Machiavelli and David Hume both mocked the idea of anything based on a covenant because covenants are promise keeping. You know, so you look at, say, take that in secular terms, the Pledge of Allegiance. You know, the kneeling controversy, I have an unusual position here. I think Americans are crazy. The kneeling convert is a disrespect of the anthem and the flag, both of which are symbols of the Declaration, which for Martin Luther King was the promissory note. In other words, that disrespect in the kneeling is actually disrespecting the promissory note and the standard of justice by which you should be appealing the injustice. Mm. The radicals have got it all wrong because, in fact, they're not interested in the Declaration or the Constitution. They're interested in alternative revolution. Mm. Which is where you go back to the French Revolution again. Absolutely. And that's how you brought that out. Again, you're a pastor, you know, in Galatians, uh, Paul says, who's bewitched you? Mm -hmm. You came to faith with one gospel, and now you're following another gospel. And what I'm saying to Americans, I, I'm saying in effect, who's bewitched you? Mm. Your revolution is one thing, and you're following something quite different. You don't, many aren't aware of it, including many pastors. <laughs> Don't